Naturalistic observation is a research method where researchers observe subjects in their natural environment without interfering or controlling any variables. The goal is to gather data on how people or animals behave in real-world settings. This method allows researchers to study behaviour as it occurs naturally, providing insights into actions, interactions and patterns that might not appear in a controlled environment. Researchers use naturalistic observation when they want to study behaviour in its most authentic form, without the influence of a lab or experimental setting. This method is especially useful when the goal is to understand how people or animals act in everyday situations, where controlling variables would not be practical or would alter the behaviour being studied. Now let's look at some examples to better understand how naturalistic observation works. Imagine a researcher observing children playing at a local park. Without interacting with them, the researcher can take notes on how the children interact with one another, how they solve conflicts, and how their play changes depending on the group dynamic. By watching in a natural setting, the researcher gains insight into social behaviours that might not emerge in a controlled environment. Another example could be studying animals in the wild. A biologist observing a troop of monkeys in the jungle would use naturalistic observation to record their feeding, mating, and social behaviours without disrupting their natural habitat. This method allows the researcher to see how the monkeys behave when they are not influenced by human presence or interference. In both cases, naturalistic observation provides authentic data by capturing behaviour as it naturally occurs in real-world environments. Now let's look at some strengths of naturalistic observation. One strength is that it offers high ecological validity, meaning the behaviour observed is more likely to reflect how people or animals act in real-life settings. This is because the researcher doesn't manipulate the environment, ensuring that the subjects behave as they normally would. Another strength is that naturalistic observation allows researchers to study situations that can't be recreated in a lab. Some behaviours or events such as animal interactions in the wild or spontaneous social interactions can only be observed as they naturally occur making this method essential for certain types of research. However, naturalistic observation is not without its criticisms. One criticism is that there is little control over external variables, which can make it difficult to determine the cause of the observed behaviour. Since researchers cannot control the environment, other factors may influence the behaviour, making it harder to draw clear conclusions. Another criticism is that observer bias can be a problem. Because the researcher is watching and interpreting the behaviour, their personal beliefs or expectations might influence how they record or understand the actions they observe. This subjectivity can lead to skewed data if the researcher isn't careful to remain neutral. For a detailed written introduction to naturalistic observation, have a look at my article in the pinned comment. To learn about other research methods, check out the videos on the screen.